When filing for divorce, I'm always posed with the question of what legal reasoning do I need to give in order to get that divorce? Now, in this video, I'm gonna discuss what are the different valid reasons that you can give to get a divorce? What is the meaning of irretrievable or irremediable breakdown of the marriage? As well as, can you even get a divorce without indicating a valid legal reason? Hi, I'm Sino Mohajer. I'm a family law attorney practicing in the greater Los Angeles County since 2012. I've been a contributing member of the Los Angeles County Bar Association, and I've been rated by Super Lawyer since 2019. In determining the legal reasons to file for divorce, it really comes down to three legal reasons. The first one is irreconcilable differences, which we'll discuss in a second. The last two is nullity of a void marriage versus nullity of avoidable marriage. Now, a void marriage means that the marriage should have never taken place. And there's two criteria that fall under a void marriage. First one being incest, and the other one is bigamy. In that situation, there's no community assets to divide because there was never a marriage. But if you're asking for a nullity of avoidable marriage, now you have to show the court a little bit more. And an example of avoidable marriage would be, for example, if you enter into the marriage under false pretenses or you were fraudulently induced into getting married. Some examples are, for example, if you got married for purposes of immigration status, or I had a case recently where the parties agreed to get married under the notion that they were gonna have children. However, after many years into the marriage, it turns out that one of the spouse never wanted to have children to begin with. So that constituted as avoidable marriage. Now, the third one that we talked about earlier, I should say the first one, irreconcilable differences, this is the umbrella of all. This is also synonymous for irretrievable breakdown of the marriage, or as they also say, irremediable breakdown of the marriage. Now, when I say an umbrella, any reason that you can think of would fall under irreconcilable differences. California is a no-fault divorce, so even infidelity, whether you just simply don't like your partner anymore and you want to start a new life, if you fell in love with somebody else and you, you were never cheated on your spouse, it doesn't matter. Irreconcilable differences just means that I'm done. Because in the state of California, a marriage is like a contract. You're entering into this agreement with your partner to be married and to live your life in a married way. However, if you want to get out of that contract, you got to give a legal reason to do so. And irreconcilable differences is the safe haven. Everybody, almost everybody picks irreconcilable differences because in that it's easy to prove and you'll get your divorce granted easily. Now, do you have to give a legal reason in order to get divorced? The answer is very simple, yes. You cannot ask for a divorce without giving a legal reason. So it has to be one of the three. Now, of course, the most common reason was irreconcilable differences. As I stated earlier, it's the umbrella, the catch-all. So regardless of why you don't want to be in that marriage anymore, the court really wouldn't care as long as they determine from you that it's based on irreconcilable differences, that no mediation or counseling will help make amends of that relationship, and you want out. And as long as you answer yes to all those questions, you'll get your divorce. If you have questions about your case, or you'd like to speak more detail about the different legal reasonings or different nuances of your divorce process, feel free to reach out. We offer a free initial consultation and I'll be happy to sit with you one-on-one. -on -one.